A new ABC Family original series, The Fosters. It's not my first time in a foster home. We can't save them all. From executive... Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek. Wanted to make a video letting you guys know about my opinion so far on the ABC Family original television series by the name of The Fosters. I will be discussing my thoughts and opinions on episodes 3 through 8, including episode 8 in this particular video. I made a video a while back discussing what I would do if I was not able to make a particular individual episode review, and when I am not able to do that, if you didn't watch that introduction video, what I'm going to do in this video is I will not be talking about a review of the individual episode itself, but I'll kind of do a review of the series so far. You know, favorite plot lines, favorite characters. I won't be talking about individual episodes, but I will do a general review of the entire series as a whole in general so far. I have already made two separate videos discussing my opinions upon the first pilot episode of the ABC Family series by the name of the Fosters, and I have already made another video discussing my thoughts and opinions on episode two. So I won't be talking about those episodes, only my thoughts and opinions upon the series as a whole so far. Below, in the description below, I will leave a link to both of those review videos if you want to know my thoughts and opinions on those uh, vid on those two episodes uh, particularly, or if you want to see my uh, video introduction to uh, my series so far reviews where I introduce my new video series, that will also be in the description below. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to my so far review of the ABC Family original television series by the name of the Fosters. So far, I've really enjoyed The Fosters. It's a great series. I started off thinking The Fosters on ABC Family. It was actually one of the first series I watched on ABC Family. Currently, I'm watching The Fosters, Twisted, and then I'm going to start a third series starting this week, I believe, July 23rd, Wednesday at 8 o'clock Central by the name of The Vineyard. Don't really, really know the plot, but anyways, let's not get sidetracked. So The Fosters uh, I, so far, you know, at first, it was a decent series, nothing too remarkable, had an interesting and a different premise, and that was the main reason I checked it out, was because of that, you know, that different premise about, you know, the two, you know, lesbian mothers taking care of this, you know, bilingual family, you know, with, you know, with, you know, two, uh, Hispanic, you know, or, or Mexican, you know, daughter and son. Then they have, you know, another daughter that they're trying to take care of from Juvie. You know, they have her and her brother. Then they have an actual son that is actually both of the, you know, it's actually one of the, uh, you know, biological mothers. And then, you know, the other mother adopted, you know, and he sees his dad every now and then. Uh, so I like that interesting premise, you know, the whole family element was why I originally watched the series. Well, the series started off decent, and over time, I'm eight episodes in now, only two episodes left, and that's why I wanted to make this video in general. Eight episodes in, I really do enjoy the series. I mean, it's gotten really good over time. One of the many reasons I like the show so far is the interesting family element it has. Overall, The Fosters, which was actually produced by Jennifer Lopez, if you didn't know, uh, not that that means much of anything, uh, you know, producers just pay to have a release. I don't know if she actually had any involvement with the series itself. Uh, if she did, you know, congrats to her. Uh, if not, I'll still keep watching. Uh, so anyways, I just really like the whole family element. It's a nice, interesting element. It's different. It makes for a unique time. Very entertaining. And overall, just some unique storytelling in general. So overall, I loved uh, the whole premise of the ABC Family original television series by the name of The Fosters. Another great element is the sentimental the sentimentality and the emotional value that each episode brings. Each episode designs the characters in a great, interesting, fun, entertaining, and just in a fashionable way where it leads, it leads you know, you to feel symp sympathy and compassionate towards each character. I love the way the characters are designed. I love the way they're, you know, you know, they're being, this, you know, their stories are being told. I love how certain episodes focus on certain characters. That way we can get to know that character more. In general, uh, favorite character so far, I really like Wyatt's character. He's, you know, he's kind of the, you know, the rebelistic, you know, the rebel boyfriend that, uh, that, you know, that Callie has a relationship with. I like him. He, he seems like a very interesting character. Uh, you think he might have bad intentions at first, but then you find out later on that he's actually just, a, you know, a real good guy uh, that has his best intentions, you know, for Callie's interest, but can get into a bad situation sometime just because he wants to impress Callie. In the particular episode that happened a few episodes ago where he broke into someone's house 
uh, in order to impress her, who they were going to watch, I believe, the sunset or sunrise or something like that, I believe. Uh, but I really enjoy Wyatt's character. He's fun. He's interesting. I like his, you know, rebellious attitude. He has certain, uh, at certain times. I love the uh, vice principal uh, mother character. I forget her name, but she is also one of my favorite characters. She plays her character. Uh, the cop mother is also a good character, uh, but she's, you know, she's pretty decent. But I love the vice principal uh, character. I, I don't know what. Uh, you know, race or eth you know, ethnicity she is, uh, you know, with the black uh, curly hair girl. Uh, I really like her character, plays her character in a nice, sympathetic, and you can really tell that she has a caring way of showing that she really does care for her children. I love the scene with her and uh, Jude, where Jude wells, wears, you know, the, bling, the blue uh, fingernail polish to school, you know, and then later on, you know, tries to invite his friend over, and you can see those, you know, him being, you know, gay. Uh, you can kind of see, the, you know, the foreshadowing of that, so I love just the interesting stories that are told, and overall, each and every actor in the ABC Original Family's television series by the name of The Fosters does a great job at acting, and overall, it leads to some, some, some really some fantastic storytelling. We only have two episodes of The Fosters left. It leads up to the end of Season 1, which in full will have a total of about 10 episodes. So like I said, my favorite things about The Fosters on the ABC Family uh, television channel. Favorite thing so far is the great sentimentality that the each episode brings, where it feels you, where it really makes you feel for each character, and then the great acting that is involved. And I like Callie as a character too. I love the whole underlining element where you find out, you know, about Liam, you know, that, you know, what Liam did raped her, and you find out some of her backstory. I really like her story too. And overall, her story, included with everyone else's story, makes up for some great storytelling in general. That's pretty much my thoughts and opinions on the ABC Family television series by the name of the Fosters for the entire series so far, mainly episodes 3 through episode 8, including episode 8. Once again, thanks for watching another video by Centipede Geek. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to my page below, and I'll see you guys later with more videos by Centipede Geek.